Hello YouTubers, this is me again, and this is James Bond episode number 10. Yay, finally hit the 10 mark. And this is for the movie, The Spy Who Loved Me, in the James Bond series. Yay, Bond fans. <laughs> this was released August 3rd, 1977, which is pretty big, because that's almost two and a half years. Actually, I think it is two and a half years since the last James Bond movie, directed by Lewis Gilbert, who, if you remember correctly, did my infamous You Only Live Twice movie, which so far is the worst James Bond movie I think I've watched. For as much as I didn't like The Man with the Golden Gun, I have to say You Only Live Twice was worse. This box office gross worldwide was $185.4 million. So it was quite a substantial, like, they almost made $100 million more than their last movie. And it featured Roger Moore's James Bond, Barbara Bach, as Agent Triple X, slash Anya Amasova. Kurt Jurgens as Carl Stromberg. Rachel Keel as Jaws. Carolyn Monroe as Naomi. And... The opening song was sung by a famous person, Carly Simon, for all those people who know who Carly Simon is, especially classic rockers. And the plot to this movie, Bond is investigating a missing sub with Anya Amasova while being chased by Jaws, and later she finds out Bond killed her lover, and if they can work together to stop Stromberg. Memorable scenes is the opening scene with Bond being set up in the ski chase scene that ensues and Bond kills Anya's lover. Right off the bat, that's the first scene. Then you get the video for it and everything, which is pretty good. Uh, then there's a scene where Stromberg leads girl to the sh or feeds girl to the shark and everything. Jaws is introduced. Attempted assassination on Bond. Bond meets Anya and fights. Fight ensues and knows who he who she is. Or fight ensues and she knows who he is. So Microfilm discovered Jaws Jaws kills Kabbalah. They follow Jaws and Bond fights him and escapes. Bond views microfilm, which is schematics. British and Soviets working together, which back then it was still the Cold War, so there was always that distrust there. And that's something I, I think that should be mentioned is the Cold War was still going on. There's a little bit more openness around this time, which pretty much ended once I think the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. But all that, but no. Let's see what else happened. Jaws tries to kill Bon and Anya. Jaws is thrown from a moving train. Sort of a la Tee Hee. And even going back to From Russia with Love and Grant there. We're good. Uh, bon meets Stromberg. Stromberg identifies Bon and plans to kill him. There's an awesome chase scene. Motorbike fires explosive side car, and Naomi's trying to kill Bond. Bond car flies into water, becomes a boat, blows up the helicopter with missiles, and chased underwater, and comes up on a beach. Which, I have to say, is so over the top. It's not even funny. Like, first of all, it's... Okay, I can believe a car, okay, it can become a submarine, uh, alright, yeah, 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 sure, okay, it has missiles, you're being chased underwater by a helicopter, you shoot the helicopter from the sea, and it's almost to the point where it's like, where is this going? Uh, Anya confronts Bond about killing her lover, yeah, the ship swallow sub which it's sort of like a boat if you think about an ocean liner and just the way it's designed is that the front of the boat opened up ok 
came in, swallowed this up right in there. Took the crew hostage. Uh, Bon and Anya captured. Stromberg ex shows his underground lair and explains his plot, which is good. And the whole thing about Stromberg is he wanted to do this. He wanted nuclear catastrophe up there, so because he could live under the sea. It's one of these where he loved the sea, underneath the sea, seeing the beauty in it and all that. It was a good scene. Uh, Bond escapes, assault on the base, Bond disarms rocket, subs destroy each other. Then it comes to the part where we're at the under table gun, which is sort of like this long barreled gun at, it, at the bottom of the table, and there's a trigger underneath the table to shoot Bond, which Bond, he misses Bond, Bond rolls out of the way, bam, shoots Stromberg in the head right there. Then Bond, which he kills him, he then fights Jaws, which was alright, like, it's okay, fights Jaws, Jaws doesn't die. Bond saves Anya and sleeps with her, and that's the end of the movie. And this movie, I will say, just like You Only Live Twice, felt so goddamn long. I, I don't know why, it just seemed to me that every time I started trying to get into this movie, I kept falling asleep. Just about put me to sleep. It was that boring in spots. And I don't know, it's just this movie always to me has, every time I've watched it, it just, I don't know if there's too much drag scenes where it's like, get on with it, get on with it, get on with it, but this to me just felt boring at points. If I was to give it a grade for this movie, hmm, for this one I'll give it a C-. minus could have been so much better. The story was good. This is the thing. The story to this was so good at points where it's like, alright, yeah, it's believable. I like that. It's good. It, it could be a good movie, but the fact it just felt so long in parts. And yeah, so that's my thoughts and opinions on The Spy Who Loved Me. The Tenth James Bond movie. There we go. The tenth James Bond movie. Uh, James Bond fans, join me for the next James Bond movie. Number eleven, Moonraker, which to some would be Star Wars ripoff. But anyway, this is Music Tour. Peace.